everyone, my name is Emily and I'm here at the Fairfield County District Library to do a short and fun program with you all today on blind contour drawings. So first I'm going to talk about what a contour drawing is and then we'll talk about what makes them different from blind contour drawings. Um, and then I'll do an example for you all so that you can try it at home. A contour line drawing is a drawing you create of something where you don't pick up your pen or your pencil, whatever you're using, the entire time that you're creating the drawing. So it's a continuous line meant to capture shape and proportion and the essence of the object without getting too detailed. Some famous artists that used contoured line drawings are Pablo Picasso and Andy Warhol. So I'll show you a few examples here. This is called Portrait of Olga from 1920, and this is a Pablo Picasso. One continuous line, not too detailed. Next here, I have Red Lennon, and this is an Andy Warhol. It's from 1987. Here I have an Untitled, and this is by Paul Klee. And here's another Untitled work, and this one, this one is by uh, David Hockney. And I really like this one because it's interesting how he captures the movements of the blankets and the pillow with just very simple line work. And then finally here, this is another Pablo Picasso piece, and this is called Portrait of Igor Stravinsky. So those are all contour line drawings. What makes a blind contour drawing different is it's still the same concept of a continuous line to capture the shape and form and proportion. However, when you're doing a blind contour drawing, you don't look down at your paper you're drawing on the entire time. <laughs> so it's, it's actually kind of tough to do because your brain wants to look down and see what you're creating. But what I love about blind contour drawings are when you're finished with your line, it's always a surprise. So I'm gonna show you a few examples. I found these on uh, in a simple Google search. So they're from various artists on the internet. Here are some blind contour faces. And as you can see, stuff is not totally in proportion. Things are offset. Um, they have a very unique look about them. Here's, here's some ones of animals, some doggies. <laughs> here's a cat. Blind contour drawing isn't really an exercise meant to produce a good drawing. Um, however, it helps you draw more realistically because it trains your um, hand and eye to work in tandem with each other. Since our summer reading theme this year is Tales and Tales, I thought it would be fun if we tried creating some blind contour drawings of animals. So let me do a little example for you. This is the image that I chose to draw from today. This is a queen trigger fish, and I thought that their shape was really fun and that it would be a good thing to try a blind contour with. So I have the picture up in front of me and I am not going to look down at my pen or paper the entire time. And I'm just gonna get started here. All right. really tempting to look down and I feel that I'm close to the edge of my page. It's okay. I'm just going to keep going. Down on the top. this line work around the mouth. I did pick up my pen, but I'm just gonna keep going, continue to not look. I'm gonna add spin on the side here. All right. <laughs> 
so this is my Queen Triggerfish blind contour drawing. And as you can see, it's not perfect. <laughs> and you shouldn't expect your contour drawings to be perfect. That's what makes them so fun. But yeah, this is this is my Queen Triggerfish. <laughs> so blind contours are super fun and I challenge you all to try it out. Take a picture of your blind contour drawings and share them to your social media, whatever you use with the hashtag sightless sketch. We can't wait to see what you come up with. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone.